Otherwise, it's too dry. The high pressure system keeps the atmosphere stable and this one is providing us with a flow of dry air coming off the continent. So that west wind limits the moisture inflow and it keeps our sky mostly clear. A couple little patchy upper clouds have been streaming in mostly across western areas. That's where they're most obvious, but that could be a trend that will follow in the overnight hours that can maybe keep the sky from being 100% clear, but it's not going to cause a lot of overcast sky either. In fact, if you look really closely in the forecast and focus, a couple little grayer spots, and that's the indication of those upper level a uh, high level cirrus clouds that will be flowing in. But here at ground level, the winds will be changing and they'll become more southeast as the high pressure system moves to the east of the Florida Peninsula. We'll get a slightly more humid flow, if you will. The moisture comes more off the bay into the next couple days. I don't think it makes an incredibly more humid difference for tomorrow, but it can support maybe a couple more clouds. You might notice a little bit of rain in the Chattahoochee Valley. That's a front that will not come here but there's going to be a second stronger one that comes behind it with a future rain chance for our region. Forecast temperatures drop into the 40s, even a few upper 30s in some of those inland colder pockets. And then we'll see readings climb right back through the 60s by midday. We'll be near 70. There's a good chance many of us will be in the 70s, except for maybe the immediate coast. The onshore breeze will keep areas like coastal Wakulla and Franklin a few degrees lower than inland areas. But that same southeast wind setup and a little more moisture will keep those nighttime temperatures tomorrow from getting way too bitterly cold. Clouds continue to increase. The second front starts to swing in, can produce some severe weather in the Tennessee Valley. Once it gets into our region by late Thursday, couple stray strong storms, but I do think just an overall spread of rain and a kind of gusty, breezy south wind pattern. So we'll monitor those trends for late Thursday into Friday. Right now, it does not look like we'll be in the core of any kind of severe weather concern, but we'll monitor things closely around the mid 30s to lower 40s for lows tonight and highs tomorrow. They'll be on the warm side once again in the lower 70s, maybe even a few mid 70s. And by the middle of the week, we'll push 80 degrees in some cases. That rain chance comes late in the day on Thursday, so about 20% of coverage in the western areas increasing to most of the region on Friday and then cooling down and partially clearing out this weekend.